Hi everyone, my name is Anne-Marie. Welcome to Card Making Project 538. Today we're going to make a beautiful card using the paper technique of decoupage. And we're going to decoupage our floral papers from Anna Griffin. Now we did this about a month, six weeks ago and it was quite a simplistic card. However, today we're going to take it to a new level. I think you're going to like this and it's a good idea for using those floral papers that we have. We're not using lots of dies, but we are using the fancy French frame dies, and I think they could be easily substituted with other frame dies that you might already have in your stash. Play about with it and, you know, see what you can create. And don't forget to show me because I do love seeing what you make. Tag me, you can always find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter. My own personal favourite, because I'm so nosy, is Instagram. I do like flicking through all those creative photos, and you're all such a creative bunch. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and let's have a look at today's gorgeous project. For this project, we're going to be using the Anna Griffin Fancy French Frame Dies. Now, I know they haven't been in the UK. I was lucky enough to use them at Create Fall last year, and that's how I have mine. However, if you have any of the Anna frames that she's had previously in the UK, you would be able to use and substitute something like that. Now, for my friends across the pond, this is a great one for you to use. If you have some of the newer frames as well, it would work. We're going to be using the larger of the square fancy French frames, and we're going to be using the oval die in the middle not the ornate die in the center but with a plain oval we're also going to be using the sentiment stamp and die set we're going to be using one of the stamps from this set this was a set that has dies to match the actual rubber stamps for the be able to layer them um, and use them as sentiments and has had a newer set since that i don't have that at the moment but I keep going back to this one, it's a favourite of mine. We're going to be using the Happy Birthday My Friend for the middle. You don't have to use this, you might have different stamps that you prefer to use. Some of the other um, sentiments that Anna has, but th that's the one that we're going to use. It can be easily substituted. So we're going to make, I think this is... Um, a beauty of a card and it's ideal for there was um, a question sent in by Sharon a few weeks ago it could be a couple of months now about using paper and patterns from paper this would answer her question again and give you ideas to use your pattern paper I'm going to be using a 7 by 5 inch blank card it's in ivory and I've already stamped on the back and added my name in the handmade by stamp and I'm just simply going to use my bone folder to make sure that I've got a nice sharp score along the edge because then it will look more professional and it will stand up proud on the mantelpiece. So the first thing that we're going to do is the inside of the card. Now there's quite a bit of die cutting with this card. I think you're going to like it and you can easily adapt any of it I think. Now the base layer that I'm using for the inside of our card is from the spring plaid card stock from Anna. So I've got flat tape on the back, I've trimmed it down so that it literally will fit inside our card and just give a tiny border around the edge. There we go, so I can pop that in. Next, for the front of the card, I've actually cut out a layer from the fancy French frame and then I've trimmed the inner section away. Now the inner section is going to be on the front of the card, but this is the section that I've trimmed away and I didn't want to waste it. It's in the Anna Griffin Girl foil and I just think it looks spectacular and it's perfect for the inside even though we've trimmed the inner cir circle away as it were I've just got it on flat tape on the back and I'm simply just going to pop it in the centre of our card watching that fold so that we can fold it still 
and press it down there we go now at home you would be able to add a little bit more glue than I have but it's only for time I've got a little bit of tape on the back so that's our frame layer and then for the centre I've used the plain oval from the same set of the fancy French frames I've die cut it in ivory cardstock I've used a robin duck egg blue I think it was called and it was an old um, ink set from Anna I've tapped the edge and I've stamped using our sentiment stamp from the sentiment stamp and die set happy birthday my friend in the same colour and I've just used clear embossing powder just over the ink just to keep it nice and I think nice and shiny really so I've got flat tape on the back that I can peel away and I'm going to position this just through the centre of our gold frame and that just works perfectly there we go and you've got a nice amount of room for a to and from for to the recipient if you're going to write an essay use a separate piece of paper but you know how pretty does that look gonna work so well with the front now I'm just going to use my bone folder again on the front just to make sure that's a nice sharp crease along the edge and the base for the front is the same from the plaid cardstock and um, I've just die cut the centre out so that I can save that and use it for something else actually because you know I try to be frugal there's some cards that you can't be frugal with but this one you know I can save the inner a bit of this one um, just peel the back of the tape away now this layer fits the entire card so I'm just going to turn the card slightly so I can see and I'm just going to add it to the corner and across the edge and then down the side and hopefully that should be nice and straight so that's our base layer for the card next I've die cut one of the fancy French frames in ivory and then I've made a very um, not neat, it was very untidy base for it. I didn't want to make a shadow layer and draw around the die but I wanted it to fill the back of the actual apertures of the die that I've cut. I've not embossed it, I've just die cut it. So I've cut it out out of the Anna Griffin metallic layers and you can see it's not really neat but it doesn't have to be because you can't see it. I've got 3D foam on the back of it and I've stuck it just on the back of the die cut and then I'm going to position this layer over the top of our plaid cardstock like so. Press it down. Our next layer is in the centre is an oval now I've taken a die cut of the lila one of the lila papers and I've used the large oval in the set from the fancy French frames I've just got this on flat tape and I'm going to position this hopefully roughly in the centre and there we go press that down next I've die cut a second frame in ivory and I've embossed this one I've added a few jewels just to the edge just to make it shine just a few AB coated jewels I've got 3D foam on the back and then I can add this over the previous layer of frame like so I'm just going to turn it round to make sure that I'm getting it roughly about right. There we go. And then I can press that down once it's in position. Next, the gold frame that I cut from the centre. If you remember, I said I die cut the frame and I've taken the oval away. 
Now I've just got flat tape on the back of mine and I'm just adding it over the top of our layer like so. There we go. Press that down. Next, where the flowers I've die cut from the centre in the paper from the Lila collection, I've cut a layer of them out as well and I can add them as if I've die cut them and decoupage them and then I've also got just two of the centres that I've also cut out and I've put these on 3D foam so we can add the centre there like that I've got a sentiment sticker now this I've got to admit it's from an older collection it says best wishes I could have stamped it but I wanted the fanciness of the outside and the blue from the edge and I'm just going to add that to the bottom of our card like that I've got two tiny flower stickers that were from the Pretty Paintings collection that I'm just going to add at the bottom near the sentiment and press those on and then I'm going to finish the card with a gorgeous blue bow at the top and that is our card finished and how pretty does that look the inside and the outside Look at those gorgeous layers. Stands up nicely. I don't think it'd be too much extra for your postage. There are a few layers. My 3D foam on some of them are a little bit higher than normal, I've noticed. I think it's maybe one or two millimetres higher. But I've had some new foam from somewhere else and um, I'm, not, I'm not sure about it. So we've got a mixture of foam on there actually my normal foam that I use and then some new and mm, I'm not sure the jury's out on that so that's how it looks from the side I just love the layers look how pretty they are and it all works so well everything I do use I should put in on my blog so check it out and I shall take extra photos as well and some nice close-ups so that you can see the edges of the embossed frame and the little jewels and how it all turns in and give me the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and let me know let me know what you think don't forget to tag me and uh, check the Anna Griffin group as well because I put my projects in there every Monday and Friday and I know you all enjoy seeing the extra put, uh, pictures that are on my blog when uh, I do some of the behind the scenes so look out for those as well and I would just like to say thank you so much for watching I shall see you next time